Natasha Imgard Smalling and I am the principal of Glenmere High School and I am a Lupus Warrior representing today on World Lupus Day. A part of the activities organized by the Lupus Foundation of Jamaica is Strides for Lupus and so I've mobilized my colleagues and students to participate in Strides for Lupus to join our mission in raising awareness about lupus in essence, making lupus visible. I see you also collecting some donations. You want to tell us about that? All right, so just to support the efforts of the Lupus Foundation of Jamaica, the truth is that many lupus warriors um, need that kind of financial support for their medication and other resources that they need to not just survive this chronic illness, but to thrive in spite of it. And so I thought um, just to collect these funds to support that venture. So I was actually diagnosed with lupus in 2003 um, at a point when I was pursuing my bachelor's degree and I was simultaneously working and so it was very challenging at the time but you know with great support from my family colleagues and the people in my circle in general I have been able to survive it I still have my down times but thank God I I'm still smiling, I'm still illuminating my space with my with my energy and I mean that's my purpose now, just to reach out to those um, living with the illness and to make them understand that things are still possible. I was able to pursue my bachelor's degree, my master's degree, my doctoral degree, um, serving as a principal and doing other stuff. So there is hope, we just need to follow the instructions of our doctors and take our medication as instructed do not compromise it at all staying out of the sun eating the right things working out and just cultivating and maintaining a positive mindset word of the lupus day what does that mean to you it means a lot to me because we are we are intentionally taking time out to raise awareness about lupus um, so that we can stop the discrimination because you still have persons who are having challenges at their workplace. Um, employees do not want to employ them because um, of the risk that they may have a high rate of um, absenteeism, um, for example. Um, there are students with it and we just want teachers to understand some of the symptoms and you know what they will go through so that they can better understand them and to support them as they proceed their studies and so on. Tell us about the kind of support that you have here at Glenmere High. My colleagues are very supportive. Um, I make them aware that I am living with the condition and as a result of that I do get the support and um, I am very appreciative because while most times I am okay and bubbly I do have my down days um, when it sets up to rain or when it's raining um, my joints will start hurting um, for example sometimes I am just out of it and there are persons who can just see me and know that it's that moment when she's probably um, out of it. Um, Steffi, for example, will know that I want warm milk because that's what I can tolerate when I am um, having a flare, um, for example. So I'm very grateful um, for the support, um, but still I continue to say that as lupus warriors, we don't need pity because sometimes persons just get so depressed just knowing that we have it. We don't want pity. What we want is just love and support. I saw, tasted, and danced with death, but I've survived it, and I've always believed that I survived because God just has a purpose for me.